Before we jump into this week's topic, I want to thank you guys for returning to hang out with me again for another Friday upload. This week, I wanted to tackle something that's been driving me freaking crazy that I've learned a lot from that's also annoyed the absolute crap out of me. I figured if I shared it with you guys, maybe you'll get something from it that might help you too. What was this experience, you ask? Well, I managed to work out Monday through Friday with no missed days for one full year. Complete and utter bonkers for me. As for the workouts, it consisted of either going to the gym and doing cardio and weight training, or it was walks around our neighborhood for, I don't know, two to four miles. There were some hikes thrown in, and there was one day where I flew in for an event Gone in late, <laughs> found out the hotel didn't have a gym, nearly had a meltdown because I didn't want to miss a day. I think I was like eight months in at that point. So I found a YouTube video that didn't require weights and I actually ended up doing a 40 minute workout in my room. Somehow I made it work. Keeping in mind that my overall goal was to lose weight. It was insanely frustrating to go through this entire year long process of doing something I don't even like to do just to learn in the end the working out does jack shit for weight loss. In the beginning, in the first few months of that year, I was also keeping track of food. I was tracking everything that I was eating. And during that period, I was steadily losing weight. However, as soon as I started getting loosey goosey with the food, the weight started coming right back on. The working out didn't keep it off. It didn't even slow it down. And if I'm going to be perfectly honest with myself, regardless of how much I've done and I've accomplished in this last year, because I do, even though I'm so irritated, I have to be proud of myself for committing to something like that for as long as I did. I also have to be honest with the fact that I don't even look like I go to the gym. I don't. <laughs> it's really annoying. You'd expect some sort of result, especially when anytime somebody brings up weight loss, you'll hear from a lot of people, oh, you need to move more. If you move more, you'll lose more. And I've now learned firsthand and by talking to other people who've had a similar experience that that is a load of BS. Losing weight doesn't happen at the gym. Losing weight happens at home in the kitchen. And unfortunately, even though that's what most of us do not want to hear, from what I've learned personally, that's the truth. Even though working out really didn't help me accomplish my overall goal of weight loss, I can't say that I didn't see any benefits to going. One of the biggest things that I found to be really strange was it kind of changed how I carried the weight on me, which helped change my overall appearance. I was starting to look slimmer because things were tightening up. And I like to joke with my family that I was tightening my internal girdle because they were noticing it too. The weight wasn't coming off, but how I was carrying it was different. I also started to see some tone in some of my body parts, like my arms, especially my shoulders and my thighs. And I was just kind of geeking out about it. Once that started happening, I was more encouraged to keep going. Another benefit that I noticed after going for a bit was that a lot of the aches and pains I was kind of struggling with were starting to go away. I was having problems with my feet being stiff in the morning. I was having problems with my right knee. I was having problems with my right hip. I was having problems with my left shoulder. Getting old is so much fun. But with working out, I noticed that in the time that I was working out, I really wasn't noticing any of these pains. Even my back. I've had back problems since I was in my early 20s and it really didn't give me any trouble during that year of working out, which that in itself is a good motivator to keep going because I don't think anybody likes to have anything hurting on a daily basis. I also noticed that just getting around physically was a lot easier and it took a lot more for me to be out of breath where before going up a set of stairs would have done it. While all those things were good things, it didn't keep me from feeling frustrated because those weren't my goals. My goals weren't to fix those things. Obviously that I'm happy that they did, but as far as weight loss is concerned, going to the gym, putting in the physical work and not having it make a dent, it really discouraged me. I'm willing to bet since we're at the beginning of a new year, there are quite a few people out there that made their new year's resolution to drop weight and be more fit and more active and more healthy. And for those of you who have been putting in the time at the gym or being physical and you're having the same results, the whole reason why I wanted to make this video is to let you know you're not crazy. 
it's not you. <laughs> we really, if we want to do weight loss, we really have to pay attention to our food intake. Going to the gym is amazing. Working out is amazing. There are a ton of benefits to doing that, like I just stated. However, it is not, it's not going to touch weight loss. And for those of you who have been through this and you totally hear what I'm saying, please comment below because I know that this is my experience and I keep wanting to state that, but I think for others to see that, you know, they aren't the only ones struggling with this problem and have come to this conclusion <laughs> will help them understand that, you know, it's not about giving up. It's about tweaking things to get to your goal rather than continuing down a path that's really not helping you get any closer and it's just going to upset you in the end. Now, while there are people that understand what I'm saying, there's always those people and if this is you, I'm sorry, but there are people that like to say, well, Chris, muscle weighs more than fat. However, <laughs> it does not explain what's going on here. And unfortunately, I think that when somebody sees somebody else struggling, like let's say, you know, I've been struggling with this problem and somebody says that to me, I feel like that's less of a fact at that point and more of them giving me an excuse to not get upset when really I should just be looking into how I need to tweak things to get the results that I want. Because as I said earlier, in the beginning of the year, when I was actively tracking what I was eating, the weight was steadily coming off. But as soon as I slacked on the tracking, <laughs> I started sliding backwards. So when people try to tell me that, you know, muscle weighs more than fat, yeah, that might be true, but that's not what's happening here. The problem is I need to refocus and I need to refocus a good part of my attention to what I'm eating rather than how many hours I've spent in the gym. As someone who does not enjoy working out at all, this has been a really annoying lesson to learn and it makes me just want to call it quits. I'll be perfectly honest, but I know I can't quit. What I've decided to do is pull back a little bit. I'm looking at going to the gym, physically being at the gym, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then on Tuesday, Thursday, it's just gonna be walks around the neighborhood just to stay active on those days. And I think that's doable without losing my sanity. On the food side, I wanted to dig up an old Weight Watchers program that worked for me years ago. The old program didn't involve apps, everything was books and sliders, so I can avoid officially signing up for today's program and all the costs that come with it. If you'd like me to share following this program for the next 30 days, let me know below in the comments. Thank you guys so much again for watching this week. As I said in the last video, there are quite a few things you can do that don't cost anything but a second of your time to help support this channel. And that is like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you'd like to help support my channel beyond that, I am on Patreon, the link's below, and I have a year-round Halloween shop called Wickedly Williams, and that link is below too. I hope you guys have an excellent weekend, and I look forward to seeing you again here next Friday.